Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So due to the overwhelmingly response I got, uh, those of, oh by the way, those of you guys that follow me like on Facebook and Twitter, I had been recently taking some requests. I got an overwhelming response for bridal looks. So I figured since bridal is such a huge genre, um, I figured I would do a, a, genre, a, a whole series of bridal looks instead of just like one or two because I did a bridal look and that was about maybe a year ago. And obviously, you know, you guys can't get enough because I, I, I just kept making references to that one bridal look and I'm like, I don't want to do that anymore. There's so many dimensions to brides. So I'm going to start this off by doing the smoky bridal look, which is, you know, those of you guys that kind of want to look like a bride, obviously, but <laughs> like the sexier version of a bride, which is probably a little bit kind of like how, you know, when I get married again, what I, how I would want my makeup to look. So this is going to be the first look in this series and guess what I'm using? of course my naked palette so those of you guys that got your naked palette grab that bad boy and follow along I'm gonna show you how I did the look and um, first of all thank you guys for watching I hope that you guys enjoy the look let me know if you have any more bridal requests leave them down below I'm still taking many many more you're gonna see a bold bride you're gonna see a funky bride modern bride tradition all all of the bride looks so if you have any pictures ideas bring them on over and again I thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy the look. Start off with a bare clean face. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD foundation and a beauty blender sponge. Now I'm applying that all over the face. A little bit on my lids. Next fill in your brows, I'm using the Sumita brow pencil that I've been using in my latest videos. And I'm going to do some more digging on this one for you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been inquiring about it. It is actually manufactured by Ziba, so I don't know if that's a little bit help, more helpful. But I'm going to try to do my best to find this one for those of you guys that want to order it. So, fill in the brows. I really like the way that this um, brow pencil kind of has like a soft brown finish. And you guys know I'm like super particular on what I put on my brows, but um, this stuff gets a go for me. I'm going to continue using it and I'm definitely going to continue purchasing from them. Okay, great. So now that my brows are done, I'm going to use MAC Studio Finish Concealer as a primer on my eyelid and even out all that discoloration make those lids one uniform color on top of that I'm going to use the NYX jumbo pencil in black bean and I'm not going to put very much maybe one or two swipes and then take my finger and blend that out and you want to make sure that you don't blend it up too high because the dark creamy bases like this can be kind of difficult to blend out like in the crease so just don't put it up too high so it's not going to be perfect but it's going to look something like that now I'm using my naked palette oh snap I'm using dark horse eyeshadow and a eyeshader brush and I'm applying this color on my eyelid and all over the eyelid you can leave a little bit of space on the outer corner but this is primarily going all over is the eyelids on top of the dark horse I'm also applying smog eyeshadow which is kind of like a more copper gold and that's really where you see like that gold picking up for this look so you see me you will see me layer a lot of shadows on top of each other and I mean there's so many of them why not use them all you know what I'm saying I then used Creep eyeshadow, which is that dark, smoky gray. And I didn't use a ton of this one, but I applied this one on the outer corner of my eye. And into my crease. Then I went back and forth between Buck eyeshadow and Naked eyeshadow, and they're both virtually colorless 
But I'm taking those colors and I'm just applying them in my crease. I think it's really pretty if you add kind of like a little bit of gold glitter on the lid. Um, like if you have Max Reflex Antique Gold or just any other really pretty gold glitter. But you can leave the look as is if you like. So what I'm going to do on top of this is I'm going to be applying some black eyeliner. And I'm just using pencil because I like to use pencil when I have kind of like want a smokier, smudgy look. Instead of like that straight edge look you get with using liquid liner. And I'm also applying that in my waterline. I'm going to blend that out with Creep Eyeshadow so that the edges don't look so harsh and we're still just smoking it out a little bit more. So as you can see just by doing that it kind of darkened that outer corner a little bit. I'm going to add under eye concealer and then I'm going to do the under eye area. So I'm going to take my Camouflage Concealer Palette by Coastal Sense and with my finger apply some of that underneath on my cheekbone under the eye and into my cheekbones and it's light but it's definitely going to give us that highlight we need for our big day and along the bridge of my nose into the forehead and I'm now blending that out with a beauty blender so I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which photographs exquisitely, and I'm applying that underneath my eye with a, just with a regular latex sponge. And try not to use too much. If you use too much, it will show up in photographs. And then I'm going to take that along the bridge of my nose because I have shiny skin. Um, actually, I, have, I get kind of oily like in my T-zone. So when you photograph, if you're doing your makeup yourself, you know, you're going to want it to last. So I'm really patting it on into my forehead, my problem areas, and just patting that in. And that is going to help control that shine. No crease today, no creases. Creases are not invited to this wedding. And once you have that ghost look, take a foundation brush or a powder brush and just blend it and buff it out. So when you first apply your makeup on, it is going to look a little bit lighter. At least it does for me. It kind of has like that fresh matte look. But I love the way after maybe like an hour or two, once it sets into your natural body chemistry, the way that your makeup looks. Because when it's not so fresh, oh my god, it looks amazing once it like actually sets into your skin. I'm going to then take Mineralized Skin Finish. And I like this powder because it kind of has like, it's very light first of all. And I'm applying this with a beauty puff, by the way. But I like this powder because it's lightweight. It's got kind of like a fresh, um, not shimmer, but it's definitely like, to me it looks like skin. Notice I'm kind of going around the concealer. You can even put a little bit of that on your lips. My lips are so dry right now. That's not a good look for anyone. I'm going to use a this is from the CoverGirl Queen Collection. The color is Q120, because on your big day, you really are a queen. I'm going to take that and apply that into the hollows of my cheekbones. And into my temples, the temples of my forehead. So do you already see how I kind of already brought back some of the color to my face? I'm going back to my Naked palette and I'm using half big eyeshadow, that gold there. And I'm going to pop that in my inner tear duct. And then I'm going to apply smog eyeshadow along my bottom lash line. Now I think it's safe to add mascara, so I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. And I'm not going to put tons of product because I have to put lashes on. And you guys know how tragic it is when I wear lashes. So I'm going to keep it kind of natural. 
Next, I'm adding lashes. Oh God, praise the Lord. These are the Ardell Wispies. I really like these lashes because they look almost just like mine, but longer and more perfect, more prettier. So I'm going to be wearing those. And I think that these are really, really pretty for wedding because they look kind of, they're very classy, they're very sexy, kind of like lashes without looking like you're wearing lashes. So I'm gonna pop those on. And the glue looks crazy and white right now, but it dries clear, so don't even trip on that. I have to be so quiet and still when I apply the lashes. I'm just like, it's so funny. It's so funny how hard it is to do it on me, but on other people, I can like pop these bad boys on in like three seconds. It's ridiculous. It's literally ridiculous how easy it is. Ooh, lashes. I love these lashes. So for the cheeks, for the cheeks and the lips, I'm going to keep it in the pink family. I'm going to use my Dolce Vita blush by uh, NARS. And just on the apples of the cheeks, I'm applying that color. I really love this blush. I think it's beautiful for bridal. And you don't need a whole bunch of product because NARS blushes are super pigmented. Love them. I'm going to take my I Am Glam by Giella. I gotta tap it because I'm running out for replacement I'm going to be applying this one on my cheekbones it's going to photograph amazing it's going to give you like the prettiest glow as far as the lips goes I wanted to keep it kind of nude um, in the nude pink because when nudes fade uh, they don't look so obvious versus like when you wear like a red lip and it fades. You're obviously going to be doing a lot of eating, a lot of talking, a lot of lip locking on your big day. So I wanted to keep it something that's kind of neutral so that when it does fade off, it doesn't look so funky. So first I'm going to line my lips with a brown lip pencil. This is Cork by MAC. And then for my lips, I used Angel Lipstick by MAC, which is really moisturizing. That's it guys, thank you for watching.